Hey you guys, welcome back to PJ's Place. Today I'm doing a quick review or overview on this unit. It's a synthetic. It's by Altray and it is part of their Melted Hairline Lace Front Collection. The style Natalia in the color number two. Um, this is a really popular wig. Um, they have an, uh, a line that's been out for a little while and of course I'm a little bit late with my review but nonetheless I am here so I'm just showing you here this uh, unit does come in a lot of different colors I picked her up on elevatestyles.com um, I will come to you towards the end of the video and give you my opinion and the other specs but I just wanted to show you the stock card here and also show you how the wig looks first out of the package and I am loving her I do like her. She's a really long, uh, she is long, and I know in the past I've told you that I don't really care for long hair wigs, but I have adjusted, and um, it's always good to have a long hair wig if you want to kind of change it up. Here I'm showing you uh, the lace on the wig. This is something that's really uh, one of the, um, it's one of the features that's really popular about the wig. It comes in a soft lace. It does have the standard wig cap construction. I'm sorry I'm out of the frame right there, but I'm trying to show you that. And it also already com it comes with the two combs in the front. Um, it has a center part, and then it has a pre-attached elastic band. And that is something that the wig companies are really adding into um, the synthetic wigs right now. I'm showing you how the soft lace looks. The part uh, or the hairline or the way that the hair is constructed on the on the lace is really, really good. So it does pretty much have a seamless hairline as uh, hence the name melted hairline. So I was impressed with that. If you are new to wearing synthetic wigs and you don't want to do a lot of plucking, this is certainly a beginner friendly synthetic wig for you. I'm showing you how transparent the lace is under my hand and how great it will look once I put it on. So yeah, I'm going to show you how I style the wig in just a few moments in the next clip. Um, oh yeah, the hair texture is a light yak yak. I've already said that. Um, and I do love the long wavy beach wand curl look. So yeah. subscription button as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video okay so you guys this is my first video of 2020 I've taken a little break and you know I wasn't that consistent anyway honey because mom got a life <laughs> y'all I have so many other responsibilities it is so hard for me but I love doing videos so thank you for coming back to visit me if I am of a different age range or you just don't like my videos Suggest me or share me with your friends. Tell mama them. Tell auntie them. Because I'm trying to represent for the 50 and older. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, I am back with another quick wig review, show and tell, or just an overview of a wig that's very popular on the scene right now. It's part of the Outre Melted Hairline uh, Lace Front Wig Collection. There have been a lot of reviews out there about this wig um, and the collection. And of course, I'm always a little bit later to the party, but I'm always coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, y'all. Just wait. I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> so anyway, this is the uh, 
stock card. I have her in the style Natalia in the color number two. And I showed you the stock card at the beginning of the video, um, as well as the fact that it does come in a lot of colors. This style Natalia is in like a uh, long beach wave, bring one curl type style. It is a little bit long, it's a little bit lengthy. I would say she is about 22 inches or so. You know, I'm not really a big fan of long hair wigs, but the big deal about this unit uh, or these units or this hairline is the hairline, <laughs> the lace front. So um, the lace is supposed to really melt to your, your skin or to your hairline. This is a synthetic unit, which I did pick up on ElevateStyles.com. I will leave a link down below to Elevate Styles as well as a direct link to the purchase of this wig. So let's talk a little bit about her. Um, there's not really much to say to talk about you all did see me kind of brushing her and trying to get her together in a clip before I came on camera um, I did not pluck the hairline so let me just kind of lean forward and show you what the hairline is looking like she's a little bit light around the hairline but I like her um, I just cut the lace off I didn't do anything with it I did show you that this has a standard wig cap construction of two combs in the front they're closer to the ears and then a, a comb in the back it has a really snug fit so I would say it's a little bit on the smaller side um, I did not have to adjust my straps to make it smaller so it's very snug if you have a lot of hair or if you have a big head just keep in mind this is a small cap construction in my opinion. Um, this wig also, for a synthetic wig, it already had an elastic band that you normally see in the um, human hair wig. So it had an elastic band already attached. I'm not using it because it's already snug and I didn't really need it because I'll be honest with you, I just didn't feel like I needed it. So if it gets in your way, don't use it or cut it out or whatever. But I think that um, Altra is doing a good thing by going ahead and putting that elastic band in the synthetic wigs because a lot of us do like those or appreciate them when we're wearing our human hair wigs, which oftentimes, sometimes those caps can be a little bit roomy. So anyway, uh, the hair I would say is a light yakky. It's a little bit silky, but it's a light yakky. It's not too shiny. I didn't put any uh, shampoo, dry shampoo, or baby, or anything in it. So I feel like it's not coming off very shiny on camera. Um, if you saw me trying to get her together, she does tangle. So I will say, yeah, see, like even now, just me sitting here, she started tangling, honey. She ain't gonna act right. Um, and she does shed, so I will say that. So I will say it does have a fair amount of shedding, and of course, long hair synthetic wigs are going to tangle. We've talked about that before in some other videos, and I'm sure you've heard that before when you look at other reviewers who are talking about synthetic wigs. She did have a little bit of flyaway, so you probably saw me using my Care Care Wax Stick here at the top. She was a little bit humpy too because she's very tight, so I used my hot comb on a low setting to kind of try to get the humpiness out. I think I did an okay job with that. Um, I put a little bit of powder on here because I felt like it was coming off just a little bit light, even for me, I'm fair complected African American, but she's a little bit light around the hairline and I also tried to do a little bit with some makeup around the edges of the perimeter here. But for the most part, I will say, see those flowers getting my nerve nerves. Uh, for the most part, I will say I do like the wig. I mean, for about 40, I think I paid about $40 or so for this wig on Elevate Styles. I think that it's a good buy if you're not used to dealing with um, human hair because when you buy human hair long wigs, you're still going to be styling it. So if you're not really good at styling hair, um, then trying to start off with something like a human, excuse me, a synthetic long hair wig may be the way for you to go. I am 5'4 and she's pretty long on me. Let me turn around and see if you can see how long she is in the back. So anyway, yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, I like her. I'm not a fan of long hair wigs, but special occasions are always good. You know, you always got to have that arsenal in your, that uh, weapon in your arsenal when you want to come out real sexy and fly or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you know, it's always good to be versatile and try to keep things changed up. Keep them guessing, honey. But anyway, that's really all that I have to say about this wig. Um, it does say that it came with baby hairs. I don't really do baby hairs, so when I cut the lace off, I probably cut the baby hairs off. Or if you have to make your own, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> and um, it also has a, um, oh yeah, I said it, I told you it has the attached band. 
This is a lace part wig, so there is no parting space. You cannot change the fact that this is a center part wig. So um, you do get a deep part here. So the part is nice and deep, I like that. And um, yeah, that's, that's really about all that I have to say about it. Um, so yeah, and it is heat safe. I don't see up to how many degrees. I wouldn't go more than 400. You know, I'm probably don't even go that high, but you know, I did use my hot comb to kind of get some of the humpiness out. So anyway, that is all I have to say about this wig. I am liking it, even though I'm not a big fan of long hair wigs, but um, you know, it's good to look different sometimes. Try something new. <laughs> I like it. So anyway, thank you for coming back to visit me here in PJ's Place. I hope you come back to visit me here again in PJ's Place. Please like, share, and subscribe. And again, tell your friends, tell your mama, and tell your auntie your name about Miss PJ. I'm on my road to 50, so we all got to look good. Send this baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so thanks for coming back to visit me. I hope you come back again. And until another video, that's that.